everyone, it's Budget Bunny here and today I'm going to be showing you what the pets got for Christmas. So the first thing that I want to say is that the pets, particularly the small pets, were completely spoiled this year. But it wasn't by me, it was by some lovely companies including Hagen and Bobby's Bunny Boutique who sent us so many amazing goodies as thank yous or to review on our blog and YouTube channel which we have been doing. Um, any of the reviews that I've already done I'll put links to in the down bar. The next thing that I wanted to say is that um, anything that was purchased was purchased as necessity there's things here that our pets needed anyways or they were purchased before Ella became really ill and her medical bills started accumulating and the reason that I wanted to just address that was because we did open a donation for her health care we had so many wonderful people donate to her care thank you so much to those who did contribute to her fundraiser her fundraiser is now closed but I just just wanted to assure everyone that your money did go to Ella's medical bills and not to all the products here so anyways um, I'm going to start the video and I'm going to show you all of the goodies that the pets got oh also guys I hope you like my festive hat the next thing that I just wanted to say quickly is that I'm not going to go into a lot of depth in these products, like reading labels and explaining each one. First of all, because there's so many of them, I have a feeling this is going to be a long video anyways, and I'm talking and talking and talking, it's just going to make it longer. Um, but the other thing is that most of these are already in thank you videos or hauls that I've put up. So, um, and I explain those and show them to you a little bit clearer and closer up and everything. So that's why I just thought this way you guys get to see me on camera and I'll just go through everything and yeah, that'll be it. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. I'm sure I did. The first thing is this adorable boredom breaker activity suspension bridge. If you saw the haul a few months ago, I had bought this with the intention of giving it to the champion, but since Chandler has passed away, this will go to Scarlett instead. And Scarlett has so much energy, she's the craziest hamster I've ever met in my life, so I have no doubt that she will love this. Next we have some Hagen Gourmet Treats with Red Beets. These are from a new line of treats that Hagen is releasing for um, small pets and birds as well. And um, they have no added sugar, no artificial flavors, and these would be great for a hamster treat. These ones are the Treats with Marigold. These are like kind of a biscuit one, and these would also be good for hamsters. Then we have some Boredom Breakers Naturals Care Tees. These ones here. We have this adorable football and soccer ball Woody's Boredom Breaker Gnaw Garland. And we also have one in an adorable girl pattern. The rabbits I know are going to love this rosewood seagrass ball. Then we have some of these Hagen Treats with Carrots, some Naturals Fenugreek Crunchies. I don't think I'm ever going to have to buy treats again. <laughs> this one here I really like. This is a Treats with Marigolds as well, but it's actually like a big lock that you hang onto your pet's cage. And these ones would be good for rabbits, guinea pigs, and hamsters, and they're little wood chews with carrot bits. These are flavored egg biscuits. Some of these sound so good, I want to try them. Um, then we have this trio of fun balls. So we've got a seagrass, a rattan one, and a water hyacinth one. So the other thing I was thinking with this one, because it's spaced a little further apart, you could even stuff like hay and treats and things in there, um, just to encourage your small pet to play with it a little more and work a little harder for their goodies. We have this Herb Plus Boredom Breakers Natural Blend. 
I absolutely love this little staircase. It's a rainbow play bridge um, by Rosewood and I can't, I just think it's so colorful and so adorable. I can't wait to put it into Scarlet's cage. Next we have this natural summer field blend. My hat's so heavy I'm losing it. I absolutely love this Woody's Rainbow Chew Mobile. This is good for birds too to hang in the cage, especially with the bells. Um, and then the wood is safe to chew. I'm not sure whose cage I'm going to put it in because I just love it so much I don't really want it to get wrecked. And these you would have seen in the rabbit cage tours. This is the Boredom Breakers Cornleaf Snowman. And I had ordered three or four of these, I believe. Um, just to go into all of the bunny cages. This I am so excited about. It is a Living World Green, which is the new line by Hagen that I have been reviewing, and links will be below. Um, but it's the treat and snack holder. So I've actually held out on this because I wanted to give it to the small pets for Christmas. And these are the snacks that they had sent to try with it. Alright, so the next thing was one of those must-have items. This is Spray Millet, and this is what I give Ella as a treat. And I do occasionally give Scarlet, our hamster, this as a treat as well. Um, I couldn't pass up the value, and I was actually out of millet anyways. And um, especially with giving Ella medication so much lately, it's really helped to kind of um, smooth things over with her, you know, you know when you're jabbing antibiotics into her mouth twice a day. Um, you kind of want to give her something so she hates you a little less. So this pack was only $3.99 at Pat Valley, which is an amazing deal. Alright, so the next thing actually came from Amazon and what I have been doing for Ella is replacing all of her smaller, smoother perches because she's having a lot of balancing issues. Um, we're trying to make it easier for her to get around in her cage. Um, so this was kind of ordered in air. I didn't mean to get the comfy perch for a large bird, although she'll still be able to use this, so that's not a huge deal. But this was only two or three dollars on Amazon. Um, it'll still work. I'm going to do a cage tour once I get all of her new items into the cage so you guys can see how we've changed it around and made it a little easier for her. Alright, so this was another item that we were saving for Christmas and this is also from Living World Green and it's a seagrass game. It encourages foraging behaviors. They can, You can put treats in here that they're trying to get out or you could really just stuff this with hay and treats as well. Um, so I know the pets are just going to love this one but I wanted to save them some treats for Christmas. Um, clearly not realizing how much we were going to get. <laughs> So this was also sent to us, this was for Chandler, um, but we're going to give it to Scarlett instead. I absolutely love the natural theme of these Living World um, treehouse items. This is all natural wood, it keeps teeth healthy, and of course is perfect hamster size. Alright, so the grandparents love to spoil the puppies and they got a few awesome items from them this year. They actually got two of these bones which are about two feet long, one and a half feet long, they're ginormous. Um, but the other one, we left them Christmas night to visit some family with these bones. We came home a few hours later and they had already destroyed one of them. So now they only get this in short spurts. The other two items that the dogs got were this awesome, um, tug of war rope that they have demolished. It doesn't take them long to get through toys, but I'll try and leave a couple pictures down below. And we also picked up two of the elk antlers, which I've shown in previous videos. I just couldn't find them. I think they've probably got them under the couch or in the couch. Um, but the elk antlers are a big necessity here because our dogs are huge chewers and I find when they don't have something like those to chew, they end up chewing pillows and blankets and things I don't want them to wreck. Alright, this adorable toy for Ella you would have seen in a previous thank you video. This came from the lovely Kate 
And I know Auntie Kate that Ella is just going to love this. This is also a bird toy for Ella. This is a Living World Nature's Treasure All Natural bird toy. And this, this is going to go over so well because she just loves to shred and just play with little bits like this. So this will be going into her cage too when I clean it out. And next we have these Living World Nibblers. So these ones are going to go to Scarlet. I actually really like these have little holes in them so they'd be perfect on a kebab. Actually like this kebab here. Or I could just string them up and hang them off the cage as well. Next we have these Willow Gardens Pretzel Sticks. They haven't tried these before. They're 100% natural willow chew treats. They're made by Critter Wear. And it says, naturally flavorful willow snack for rabbits, guinea pigs, chinchillas, hamsters, gerbils, and pet rats. So I just thought they'd be worth um, a try. I think they were three or four dollars. I bought these back in September. <laughs> so I'm sorry, I can't, re I know I got them at pet value, but I can't remember the price. And I had also picked up these Oxbow Timothy Twists. These are a little pricey, they're $3.99. Um, but again, I had started, you know, putting a few things away here and there for the pets for Christmas. This was one of them because they did really, really like these. And then I got one of these crocodile little dog chews. I think they're Winsies or something like that. Um, I got some toothbrush ones as well, but I'm not sure where they are, but this of course is for Scarlet. Okay, this is another wear product. It's a hay ball. I had actually originally got this from Amazon, I think for $1.99, which is amazing, but I didn't realize quite how big it is. The spacing's way too big for her. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is put replace one of the ones in the rabbit cage with this bigger one and then put one of those smaller ones in her cage. I just wanted to hang something up for her that I could stuff with some hay so that she had the option of hay for bedding or to nibble on. This is an edible twig loom. It's all natural willow. It's a critter wear product and it says it's a wholesome hand woven hideout and savory small pet snack. And I think this was only $2 on Amazon. Um, again, check them out because they do have incredible prices. A lot of the times you can find things that are full price, but then for whatever reason, they'll have things that are just on clearance that they're clearing out for like a dollar or two. Okay, for the kitty cats, they got the cat's meow. And basically this is just, um, a motorized wand that has like a little mouse tail hanging off of it and then it's got this big circular mat that it runs underneath and cats apparently go crazy for it this was like the must-have cat toy of the year my husband picked it up from his work a few months ago um, so and the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a video after of the pets enjoying some of their Christmas presents so you'll see what the cats think of this so my stepmom is so cute. Um, if you guys have been watching us for a while, you'll know that Callie, our one cat, was a stray. She was pregnant and we rescued her. And my stepmom was one of the people who took one of Callie's kittens. So Callie for Christmas got this little toy mouse from her baby squeaker. The other two things I had picked up were these mats. These are those waterproof dish pads that I absolutely swear by and use in the guinea pig cage. Um, so these ones I think I both got at Metro and I had just absolutely loved the print. Alright, so we're finally getting to the last few items here. We have this Rosewood Boredom Breakers um, toy. It's a Mazelog Treat Challenge. It's corrugated um, cardboard and they're all different levels and you can put treats in it so it's a great foraging toy and I'm really excited to try it out with the rabbits. The guinea pigs might like that too. So then we have some of these Living World Green delicious salad blends. Um, we have rosehip ribwort, sunflower, and petals. And this one's parsley, parsnip, and meadowgrass. 
and then we have marigold, strawberry, and green oat. I have a review on the parsley, parsnip, meadowgrass, and sweet pepper one. Um, these are 100% natural. I highly recommend you try them out. Right now, everything's just for Living World Greens, just being released in Canada. I highly suggest you have a look at that line because our small pets so far are loving everything. Uh, so then we have some more of the Hagen treats. And these ones are the strawberry flavored treats for small pets. That one sounds really good. All of these look so good, I think. And this one is the treats with peas and carrots. And finally, we have this Boredom Breaker Small Animal Fun Tree. It's made from seagrass and different um, pet safe materials. And I just think that the bunnies are going to love this. And I also like how this, you could really put different forage and, and veggies and things like that in there as well. Alright guys, so I really hope that you enjoyed seeing what the pets got for Christmas. I'm really sorry that these videos are going up so late. Um, but I am back now, so you're going to see quite a few videos from me in the next few weeks because I've filmed some already, I've just got to edit them, and I've got some more ideas and things that I want to do. So I guess I will talk to you later. Bye!